from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, it's the Cube covering VTUG Winter Warmer 2019. Brought to you by Silicon Angle Media. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of the VTUG Winter Warmer 2019 here at Gillette Stadium, home of the New England Patriots, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome to the program two-time Super Bowl champion, number 50, Patriots alumni, Rob Nankovich. Rob, hey, thanks how so are much you? for joining I'm us. doing great. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Uh, you know, the team's a little bit of flutter. We brought yeah. uh, you know one, one of the people here that helped support the Patriots. Uh, the last two rings uh, that the Patriots had, and you were on those teams. So Yeah, it was, uh, you know, Privileged and blessed to be on a couple Super Bowl winning teams. Yeah, so, did, did I hear right? Was the last one actually on your birthday too? No, that was the, oh, first, the first one. one. That okay. was a really, 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 really nice. You got birthday your first gift. Super Bowl ring on your birthday. On my birthday. So, so, so yeah, your birthday's coming up here Feb in a February little bit. February first. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, I'll be the big thirty-five. Yeah. Well, half to. Oh man, I can't believe it. I'm almost seventy. <laughs> half to seventy. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Uh, looking good and. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, Feel you, good. You probably good. Uh, work out. You know, running, climbing mountains. I'm going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro with Chris Long here pretty soon in a month. Awesome. So I'll be in Africa raising money for water boys. Yeah. So we'll be drilling for clean water. So it'll be cool. That, that's great. Yeah. I mean, let, let, let's hit on that. Um, you know, you were, you were drafted by the Saints. I believe you met your wife. Yep. Uh, down there, in, there in New Orleans. Southern, and, southern girl. And so. both of you are, you know, uh, giving back to the community. Do a lot of charitable work. Would love to hear a little bit about that. Yeah. I mean, I think that the platform that athletes have is, is tremendous so if you can give back to your community um, you know that's that's one of the best things that I think an athlete can give back and and that's you know people that are in need and, and people that aren't as fortunate so you know for me I work with Matt Light and the Light Foundation so I'm on his board of directors and uh, that basically brings kids in from troubled areas and backgrounds and, and they go into a camp and it's a four-year program, so they start and then they, they graduate, so to speak, when they get through high school and they're going into their college um, years. But it's a great program for trying to develop youth skills and, you know, a lot of kids that don't have, um, you know, maybe a, a great family background that, you know, is a healthy background to where it's trying to bring kids together and show them some different things that could help them moving forward and um, you know life skills that everyone needs. Yeah, this conference actually we talk a lot about skills in career because in the technology field things are changing a lot. Yep. Now I, I've watched football most of my career where actually my season tickets I can see across the field here and uh, you know in your career your 11 year career the NFL changed a lot. And I think you came into the NFL as an outside linebacker and when you're here in the Patriots you switched to defensive end. Uh, yep. Maybe you know what, what kind of things do you learn and you know how, how do you kind of have the mindset to say like okay well this is the job and the skills and the things I'm looking to do and now like oh wait I need to you know have a hand down and be facing off against some really big guys. <laughs> yeah so I mean I, I think the to be the chameleon so to speak and, and be able to change and, and adapt to your environment I mean that's what makes not just an athlete but you know every every business person that can change with time and and with the trends of technology and how things are adapting over over time that's what's going to continue your success so um, if you stay if you're just one thing and you never want to change and you never adapt you, you're, you're going to be overtaken by somebody else so you have to have that mindset and at, when i arrived here with the patriots i knew that you had to be multiple you had to continue to um, do different things with your career and position or else you know really you, you don't stick around as long so you know for me I was a defensive lineman, linebacker, special teams. You do it all, and it helps not only your team, but it helps your career and, you know, have a long career at that. Yeah, uh, to not only do your job, but when you're called to do multiple jobs, you're, you're going to step in and do that. It kind of seems to be the Patriot you, way, You right? have to. You have mm -hmm. to. If you can't do the multiple job thing, it's, this might not be the place. Yeah, um, so, you know, we, we just had, you know, one of the most amazing games in Patriot history that I think I've seen. I'm, yeah. I'm curious, you as now an observer rather than a player, uh, um, you know, what, what, what's your thought looking at a game like that? Uh, you know, I, I know heart rates were a little bit high uh, for those of us in New England, but, you know, it really amazing uh, a win like that yeah I mean it, it goes to show you that the mental toughness and the that just never quit mentality is, is one of the main characteristics of this team this year and, and their story um, you, you can't look at previous years or just you can't look at 
history when it comes to football. It comes down to who's going to play the best football in that particular day. And, you know, you look at what the defense has done so far. It's been tremendous um, going against the Chargers, who are a great team. And, um, you know, everyone was making the excuse of, you know, they traveled a lot and the time change was tough. But then them going on the road, um, which hadn't been a strong point for them this year, and getting a win and shutting out a team in the first half, the Chiefs that were really powerful and really explosive and one of the best in the NFL, it just goes to show you that, you know, in the playoffs, it's a completely different season. It's a new season. You've got to just forget about what happened in the regular season. And, um, you know, moving on to this next game, I think that they just need to continue that, that high momentum and, and playing the way that they are playing, which is running the football, being tough, and, and playing physical, four, four quarters being physical. That's, that's what's going to win them this next one. Yeah, 60 minutes, and if it goes in overtime, a little bit longer. You got it, whatever it takes. Rob Ninkovich, really appreciate you spending some time with that. Best of luck on uh, Kilimanjaro this year. Thank Super you. Super exciting. Thank you. Uh, I know you've, you do some social media there, so I'm sure people can follow along there. Yeah, I'll be on there. I got uh, Instagram, Nink50. So, and then I'm Ninko50 for uh, Twitter. So I'm out there. All right. All well, right. Thank you so much. And we, of course, are out there all the time. Go to thecube.net to catch all the videos. Find me on Twitter. I'm just Stu, S-T-U. And uh, super pleasure uh, to be able to have Rob Nigovinch. And uh, thanks so much to the VTUG uh, for bringing us here to this event.